So I've heard a lot of good things about these Douglas 10 inch water pump pliers and I'm going to give you my two cents of how I think they compare against the 10 inch uh, channel lock 430s. So right off the bat we can see they have uh, some kind of plating that should help prevent these pliers from getting rusty and they also have a different kind of mechanism compared to your traditional uh, channel lock tongue and groove pliers. Um, in terms of the overall design, you can see that the jaws are a little bit slimmer on the Douglas and also, well, you can see one of the problems with the Douglas that I found. But anyway, you can see that the jaws are a little bit longer. So I like that. But as you just saw, they can be a little finicky to open and close. So like right now, there's some resistance. Now it's not clear, it's not evident whether like I need to readjust or I just need to push through it. Like right now I just pushed through it and it closed. So you don't really know right away if you're in the right spot or you need to readjust the attempt. Uh, to open and lock at a certain position. With the channel locks, I mean, you know right away if you're in a groove, so to speak. So, see right now it's locked and you know that you need to readjust. So I like that part about the channel locks better. Uh, also in terms of uh, closing, you know, you can do your traditional one-handed opening closing pretty easy. With these, yeah, it opens, but sometimes, like this part, it rotates. So if it rotates enough, it, it no longer closes as easily. So that's another thing that's kind of finicky with the, Doug, with the Douglas pliers. Oh, and before I forget, there's one more thing. You can see the handles, they're, they're crooked. Like this, this should have never made it past quality control, but it did. With the channel locks, it's, I mean, it's all straight. I got no complaints. So um, these are adjustable, like this knot here is adjustable, so you can loosen or tighten it over time, which might be a good thing. But in terms of opening width, I'd say they're about the same. Maybe, maybe the Douglas is like a tiny fraction of an inch larger but I don't really see a big difference with this so anyway in terms of my opinion on these Douglas pliers I mean I, I heard a lot of good things about these and you know I got these expecting these to replace my channel locks but I gotta say honestly I like the channel locks better uh, even if if they were the same price I'll still take the channel lock simply because it's more straightforward to use. There's nothing finicky about it. Like it just grabs. Um, with the Douglas, they're even for the same price. I'd rather have the channel locks, but the Douglas is actually more expensive. So these are like somewhere between 20 and 25 bucks. Um, and these are like around 30 to 35 typically. So considering that these are even more expensive, that's that makes it even harder to recommend these Douglases. Now, another thing I forgot to mention is that the teeth, you see the teeth on the Douglas pliers are kind of, the top row is pointing back, the bottom row is pointing forward. So if you have, let me grab some pipe here. If you have a piece of pipe, they're meant to grab and pull with the best grip in this direction. Um, Whereas with the channel locks, they're, they have a symmetrical, they have a symmetrical grind on the T. So these can bite down and they should be equally as effective in twisting either this way or this way. So in theory, the Douglas should bite a little bit better when you're turning them like this do the design of this teeth direction uh, but 
I mean, in practice, I haven't found it to be a difference. So let me, let me give you a quick demonstration. All right, so right now I have both, both the channel locks and the Douglas pliers gripping against each other. I'm just going to grip and see which one slips. I'm putting a lot of force on this, but neither one of these is slipping. Yeah, I think I think I felt the channel logs give just a little bit, but that was my left hand, so I might not have been gripping it as tight. But anyway, from the testing that I've done so far, I haven't found any noticeable difference in terms of how well they grip. So for my money, I'd rather take the channel locks, but the Douglases, I mean, they got their own interesting features that might work better for somebody. Anyway, that's my review on these two pliers. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know which one you prefer. And thanks for watching.